Yeah, hard is. This time I'm trying to fix Cam. If it fix Cam, it doesn't work out. It's whatever. You know. Just do what you get. I'm re recording this because I tried to do this. Uh, I don't even know when. The reason I'm trying to re record this is because of the mic problems. I was very quiet and I accidentally had the music very loud and normally if they were fairly level but the recording itself was very quiet in editing I could just make it louder. But it um, froze, sorry. Um but this would not be able to be done because the music was very loud. I was very quiet. Oh, fuck off, no. I was very quiet, the music was very loud, and uh, there wasn't much I could do about that. Because it was all one audio clip, it was all merged, if you don't believe really I got some slack here. 
It's not an unwelcome sight. But I can't say I've ever felt like I belong here. I lay my book bag down next to the table and lay across the sofa. It's been five years since my family moved to the sucker. I hope I'm saying that right. Do not be mad at me. Why is my eye blurry? Stop it. and characters I might even get wrong to. I am freezing up a little bit. You know what I can do? I can go ahead and close that out. Because that's probably making a big impact. This is probably making a big impact. Um, that's making a big impact. I can make this big. Wow. Hello, me. stuff wrong, I apologize. I don't know how to pronounce most of these names or a lot of stuff like that. You know. It's, a, you know, it's just not my culture. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I might not read some of this stuff right. I mean, might read it right by accident. Just whatever happens. Just do not be mad. I do not speak whatever language these names are based in. So let's continue, shall we? Ten minutes. Wow. my eyes to shield them from the bright light above. Sure, Dad may have landed an incredible, incredible, incredible job opportunity out here. Sure, Dad may have landed an incredible job opportunity out here. But not a day goes by, sorry, I can fix my glasses, but not a day goes by where I don't miss the life we used to have. So alienating. I've never been able to adjust to it. I don't think I've made a single lasting friendship in all my years here. Five years is way too long. Way too long. I am pink and I just spit. I am so sorry. got the rest of senior year in front of me. Ooh. The thought of it sends a shiver down my spine. Sends a shiver. Yes. Sends. Sends. The thought of it sends a shiver down my spine. I miss when life was so simple. The old country roads I used to run down with my friends. With my friends. Mother. Yes. Mother. <laughs> I'm weird. I don't know why I'm this weird. I just am. Anyways. I'm bad at mother voices. Uh, oh my god, what is going on with my camera? Ah. Anyway. Well, you made it from the library, dear. <laughs> Jesus, did I get, like, punched in the face? <laughs> Jesus. I jolt up from the position I'm in. My mom stands smiling at me from the hallway. Yeah. Whoa, don't fall. Don't fall. Mm. Uh, sorry for my sibling. Uh. 
Oh, right, this light. <laughs> Give me a minute. I. Alright, so, uh, spin. Ah, I knocked it out of place. Still work? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this cover back on it. Uh, carefully, of course. Because I don't. I don't want to make this bulb burst because these bulbs tend to be dangerous like that. There we go. Hey, that adds an extra light. Does that look better? video games. What do you see me doing right now? Oh my god, camera, stop it. And... Ah! Why does up here look so pink and down here it's so white? What is that? Like, is that this light here? better care of yourself. Jesus. Oh, I'm too high up. <laughs> Sorry. Can I move my camera just a little bit? Uh. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so I can be up here and my head's not being cut off by the camera. Okay, there. Okay. Oh, my hair looks 
awful right now, I apologize. My hair's always got all these crazy fuzz kind of going on. I don't know what I can do. The weather's nice. You should be out there having fun. This room is very echoey. I hate it. Ooh, it's awful. At least my room was a little more soundproof. The audio was a little better. Of course, you have a crappy mic. My mic is literally the same device that I'm playing the game on. doing right now is lying down. Uh-oh. When mother does not speak, it just instills you with fear. She's putting you under scrutiny. There's a deep concern in her voice as she speaks up again. I'm worried about you. on the couch and cover my eyes with my arm again. Oh, she's not gonna give it to me if the greed. Jesus. Here, a letter arrived in the mail today for you. And she plops the object on my chest and walks back down the hall. She does not seem very happy. from my eyes so I can check out the letter. <laughs> Dots. Right here on my head. Ugh. Like a spider bite. Ugh. Yeesh! People still write these things? Well, of course they do. Without a second thought as to who it could be from, my rip open the package and start examining the paper within. Uh huh? My eyes catch a glimpse of the name at the bottom. Torrejico. Torrejico. Nice. The boy. But I plan to completely neglect to this old place. <laughs> That's a blast from the past. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Jesus. Oh, excuse me. I can't believe I'm receiving a letter from my old best friend. I wonder what it says. The handwriting's kind of hard to read, and the grammar is, uh, choppy, to say the least. How's it going? I'm the same as always. What did my camera just do? I saw that the Everybody really wants to see you again. Come back once in a while. I'll be waiting. At least that's what I think. 
book it says. You really should have written more. At least it's sincere. Looking at the package, I... I... I ripped, sorry, open. The return address tells me it's from my hometown, Minnesota. I hope I said that right, that sounds right. Smack my head. Itch. Good. The name brings back so many memories. Endless blue skies, the vast countryside. The sound of chirping insects, the murmuring of the streams. The trees rustling in the gentle breeze and the faces of my friends as we played until sunset. It's been five long years since we moved away. These memories haven't faded. Sitting here with this letter, I know exactly what I'm going to do with my summer. I'm going home. I'm going home! Sure, because that's exactly how you feel in the moment. August 1st. I forgot how far away Minnesota is. After reminiscing about home yesterday, I contacted my old friends. His phone number hadn't changed, and he sounded a little embarrassed to hear from me again. It took some effort, but I managed to convince my parents to let me visit for the rest of summer vacation. Hey, I recognize that gas station. Flick. Hey, I recognize that gas station. Minnesota should only be an hour away. Just a bit more. The window on the bus is cold to the touch. The scenery seems to continue forever. But I know I'm getting close now. Gah, I'm starting to get the shivers. Why doesn't this bus have any heating? I don't know why buses don't have heating. It's weird. I try lying to myself, but my body temperature tells a different story. It's been so long since I've been there. I can't help but feel nervous. I wonder how everyone's doing. I haven't talked to any of them since I last moved, since I moved. Mm. I was always terrible at maintaining friendships. Last I heard, they were all going to the same high school, the next town over. I'll admit, I never, it never really crossed my mind to come back and visit. It's not like it. It's not. <laughs> it's not like my life in Soka is all that interest. Is all that exciting. Brr. Camera, stop! Like, stop freaking out, Jesus. Good <laughs> looking. And yet? No. I should have visited them earlier. I'm just glad it's not too late and they haven't forgotten about me. I'm so excited to see everyone. I wonder what's happened since I left. There's a lot of pauses in the wrong places, I, I apologize. Ugh. And my allergies hate me right now. Next stop, Minnesota. Please press the stop button if you are departing. I press the button in just a minute. No, a few seconds. I'll be there. The nervousness I felt earlier seems to have faded away. All I feel now is excitement. I'm a bit embarrassed feeling this way. I'm fucking spit again, sorry. But I can't help it. Hurry up, I can't wait any longer. It's homecoming, but I'm not so revisited. 
I will never be able to play the original. But if you want to see the original for a playthrough, just go to Vivian Jade's channel. Just scroll through the playlists. You'll find, you'll find it eventually. He did a playthrough on it. With a little anxiousness, I step off the bus and back into a world I used to know. I watch as the vehicle disappears around the, a corner, I almost said the, sorry. There's no turning back now. I finally arrived. <sighs> I take a deep breath, just as I remember. It feels so much better here than in the big city. My nose is itchy. The fresh air is positively delicious. I stop going blurry. Good lord. It's not too late for me to be a country boy again, is it? I chuckle to myself under my breath while picking up my luggage. Now then, Grandma and Grandpa's house should be nearby. Oh, excuse me. Hmm? The bushes over there seem to be rustling. <coughs> oh, there it is. I knew the rest of it was there. Excuse me. I wonder what... What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> and then this is... <laughs> I mixed that up completely. My hair is trying to fall into my face. Sorry. Ah, here, stop it. Stop it. Damn you. Oof. <laughs> I'm not getting loud. I refuse to. Dude, your luggage is flying everywhere. Here, let me help you out. Torihiko? Oh, that face. What? Did you forget what I look like? I have to do a double take. I can't believe my eyes. No way. Torihiko, I knew was small and pudgy. It be him. <laughs> I started working out after junior high. Say hello to the new and improved Torihiko Shama. I hope I said that right. He completely he's completely outgrown me. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with this. He said Day, so I waited nearby. It uh, took longer than I expected. So I decided to surprise you. Jesus, what did you? Why does? Why is? Why does it sound like everyone's punching me in the head? Good Lord. So I decided to surprise you. My eyes widened at that. Did you really wait? All that time just for me. <laughs> Don't put it like that. Don't put it that way. The only real way to get to Minnesota is by bus, after all. Plus, the schedule is pretty predictable. I'm glad to see your bus came on time today. <laughs> that was a bad thing.
same as that Merle. Always energetic. Go to keep one. Anyway. Anyway? It's been too long, bro. Get over here, you bastard. <laughs> why, does, why does that always make me laugh? I don't know. Wait a minute, Trihiko, you're hurting me. Trihiko gives me a firm hug with his furry, striped arms before I move away. I'm sorry. Before I move away, Trihiko gives me a firm hug with his furry, striped arms. Before I move away, he had time to jump up and hug me. so small and adorable. Now there's this tall, athletic Torihiko hugging me. I... This really hurts. I think I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> that was pretty good considering last time was awful. Flick! Out to here. Tora, go easy on me. Things are a little different now. Sorry, I'm just glad to see you. I told everyone you were coming today. We're having a welcoming party for you over at the Raimon. Wow, that old restaurant is still around? Still around? Sorry, it's still around? We used to eat there all the time when we were kids. I can't breathe. Stop it. Glad to see not everything has changed. Get over there. I need it. Oh, there it is. Don't turn out to do often to me. I mean, this is the third one today. you to come right away. We had to scramble together to make things work. I'm glad you're here though. The fist rubs even harder into my scalp with that exclamation. Ow. Why? That sounds so painful. Ow! Torigo, stop! Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Ah. Good, good lord. My hair is so freaking poofy. I'm trying to keep it out of my face. If I had a hat right now, I'd just plop that on my head and do this. Take a deep breath while gently wrapping the rubber. 
rubbing, sorry, the place where his fist was five seconds ago. Hey, I'm heading to Ryland now. Would you care to join me? <laughs> There's really a welcoming party for me, huh? <laughs> I'm a fox! Nice. Cool. Good lord. Right? Why not? Dude, the village has terrible reception. Check it. No way. I look at my cell phone again. No bars. Great. Of course, Minnesota has crappy signal. It's only 2017. I was like. Sixteen, I think, at the time. Maybe. No, I, I think it was eight. Okay, so I'm twenty now. It's twenty twenty-two. So twenty twenty-two. No. Twenty twenty-one is when they turned. Does the same thing. 
things. Text. Because the mounted phone is like purely calls, you know, the thing. Dude, dudes, fuck. Dude, what's up with your face? Is that what a city boy looks like when cut off from the world wide web? Oh god. It's hard to live without the internet for me, but I've done it before, I can do it again. Oh, there's a yawn. You know what, never mind. I'm going down to Rhymon right now. With you looking so lost, I might have to escort you to your grandparents' house. Then my cheeks flare up and Laura's teasing me. I didn't think I would, I didn't think I was that dependent on technology. Whatever. I guess we can drop fall off my luggage and head to the Rhymon. Come on, bro, let's get going. Wah! Before I realize what's happening, I'm pulled into another headlock and dragged along the road. Welcoming party, huh? I wonder who's going to be there. My stomach flutters in excitement. I can't wait to find out. Ooh, the camera keeps lagging every once in a while, that's annoying. So there's that. Right. Act one. Reconnect. That's where we leave this episode off. Sorry. Oh my god. So, um, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm just capping it off and I'm gonna do like four episodes, roughly about this length. So I'm gonna do one more here and I'm gonna find a good stopping place. So, uh, bye!